Welcome to Artistic Adventures. Today's adventure is making doll-sized buckles. That sounds a little bit random, I know, but this is a short little video to help prepare for our next big adventure. I'm going to be making a steampunk outfit for a doll, and we're going to need some buckles for that. So let's get started. I'm using Easy Mold, which is a silicone mold that you just mix equal parts of these two containers together. It's very simple to use, um, not really that messy or anything. So just carve out equal amounts, and then you have about three to five minutes to smoosh it together so that it's fully mixed and to embed whatever it is you want to make a mold of. So we're just kneading it together until it looks uniform, and then I'm going to spread it out so I can get all my buckles on there. Now these little buckles I originally found on eBay and purchased, but I don't like having to wait when I want some to have, have them mailed to me, and probably they're going to be a whole, whole lot cheaper this way too. So I had the idea to try molding them. So this way you can make them out of any color clay you want, and in afterwards you can even paint them different colors if you'd like to. So after we put them into the the molding material, um, I'm rolling that thing over it so that it's smooth and even that way when we put the clay in it we can carve it out if we want to. Now it hardened after about 25 minutes and now I'm just popping those um, little metal buckles out. And now I'm going to use Primo Sculpey polymer clay and just smoosh it down in there. And it, this is such a shallow mold, I, I found out that the the part that you put down in there can pop out really easily. I tried to roll it um, in different things and basically you just need to push it down in there with your finger and then you can use a tool to open up the little buckle parts. And see, I brought, rolled it right out of there. <laughs> oh, anyway, push it back in, just keep pressing it down. And don't worry if you're not exactly right, if it's not exactly, you know, clean around the edges because you can always trim this once you cook it with scissors or an X-Acto knife. So I'm not going to go through the whole process with each one. This is how it looks as, when you finish. And now we're going to bake it for, uh, for 30 minutes at 235. And after it's baked, we can just pop them right out of there. And we have our little buckles. And as I said, uh, some of the edges are a little rough. And you can trim those with scissors. And the insides uh, of the holes you can trim out with the X-Acto knife. Now once you have them, if you want to paint them, like I want some of these to be a gold color, I'm just using a gold metallic paint, acrylic paint, to paint them. So there you have it. You can paint them any color you want. You can have buckles all day long. So I hope you... Uh, enjoyed this video. This is how they look when they're finished and you can see from that the size of ribbon or leather strip or whatever you could use in them. Now stay tuned. We're going to be coming up with an exciting steampunk outfit series. And as always, please like this video if you enjoyed it. And also, you know the drill. Subscribe. Bye.